welcome to another episode of FM1 Spotlight. My name is Jada from Republica FM1 and today I can only imagine that if we were doing this interview in front of a live audience, girls and maybe some boys will be up and screaming even before I introduce this pair of gentlemen. Yes, they're not boys anymore. <laughs> Known for his sick beat and awe-inspiring attitude, let's virtually give it up for Joey the Boy! Woo! And the crowd goes wild. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, next up, don't be fooled by his youthful stance. This is a man, man, okay? With, a, with, you know, with so much heart to give and more soul to share. Let's virtually put our hands together for Paula Sendejas. Hello everyone, thank you for having me, Miss Jada. Nice to see everyone. Miss Jada, this is Virtual. where I start calling you boys. <laughs> okay. I didn't sorry, say sorry, I, sorry. I, no, exactly. I just want to be respectful. No, no, oh you know? my goodness! <laughs> Please! No. <laughs> no, 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 I mean because uh, Paolo just got off class, online class, and uh, mm -hmm. Joey, I think right now you're, you're just winding down the day, right? Yeah. Okay, exactly. so uh, let's say hello first to everybody. Um, Joey, say hello. Uh, hi, everyone. I hope you guys are um, doing great right now. I hope you're taking care of yourselves and staying safe and um, enjoy what we have to offer you for this interview. Thank you. Pa Paolo, your turn. Same thoughts as Joey. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy our chikahan. And yeah, I look <laughs> forward to meeting all of you guys soon. Stay safe and stay well. Yeah. All right, so reading the literature about you and your latest single, the phrase way back when they were in high school, you know, really caught my attention for like a good five seconds because way back, I mean, are you guys serious? I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like a yeah. long time ago. It, it sounded like, you know, it was just yesterday. All right, so uh, how long ago was, was, was high school? Well, we're uh, juniors now, so that was yeah. 20, we graduated 2018. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's been a while. It feels like a long time. Like, I feel like I haven't seen my high school friends in a while, especially with the pandemic. So, way back when, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. that's, uh, but it's not so long ago, but because of, you know, the lockdown and, yeah, and this pandemic, it, just, it yeah, feels like... It feels so much longer than it, than it actually is, you know. It feels like we've been... Yeah in this situation for quite some time. And I just really miss hanging out with Joey and the rest of the gang. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit sad, but, you know, we try to stay connected as much as we can. So, oh, that's yeah. good, because connection is really important, you Absolutely. know, especially during this, this pandemic, right? So, uh, yeah, Joey, sure. apart, apart from your hair, Joey, how much have you <laughs> grown in this, <laughs> in this pandemic? <laughs> um, well, I think that I've become a a lot more aware of who I am. Uh, I guess that the quarantine brought me a lot of introspection and um, kind of just uh, viewing where, where I stand in life right now. So I think that spiritually I've grown a bit. Um, I've been working out more trying to stay yes, in shape. Sir. So, yes, sir. Um, I'd like to think there's some progress in, uh, in the growth department. Absolutely. But I read also somewhere, why did you take up the name Joe? Joey Angas. Uh, At least yes. in your social media, right? Uh -huh. This is what you use. Yeah. Okay, well, why, why do you use... A, I mean, apart from the obvious, obvious but I think uh -huh. there's something also more into that. Well, um, my last name is Ang. And um, mm -hmm. honestly, like when I was a kid, I lived in the States, so I never really knew what it meant. I didn't know that it <laughs> meant the... So when I came here, that's when people started first like toying with my last name. Ang Joey, the Joey... Um, and then people would say angas, uh, so that kind of stuck with me, especially since um, at the time when I started making music, uh, one of my idols was Joey Badass. So like the the fact ah. that um, we kind of had like a name connection there, but at the same time, you know, I didn't want to just copy one of my idols. I wanted to be authentic and who I am. So that's how I kind of shifted to Joey the Boy. But yeah, uh, okay. I'm still Angas at heart. <laughs> yeah, because Joey Angas is like the the Filipino version of Joey Badass. I mean, yeah, literally, precisely. like it translates <laughs> to that. Okay, so uh, it's translated. It, yeah, it's translated <laughs> no, to that. No, not, not to be misconstrued. So now you're uh, 
Joey the boy. <laughs> that, that's why. So you guys um, have been working together for, yeah, obviously for, for quite a long time. You guys mesh so well and you've you've been working on your Facebook live. So what motivated you guys to, you know, bring your FB, FB live sessions to the mainstream of the music scene? What, what brought uh, you guys to do that? Interesting. So the FB live session is something. When did we do that, Joe? Like start of quarantine, but not Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we just needed. I think we were just really stuck at home, and it was just starting to settle in that we're gonna be like this for a while. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's like you got. You still have to find a way to connect with your audience, especially yeah. after all the support they show us and other artists, even in, amidst a pandemic when there's no live gigs. So it's kind of our way of giving back, then and just making. Kumustahan with everyone and just checking how everyone is. And of course, like, you know, doing what we love, which is just performing. So that was fun. Mm -hmm. But of course, with connectivity issues and all the every, every <laughs> all the other obstacles mixed in between. So I think I got disconnected a few times in that live stream, but <laughs> Yeah. I remember. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I left Joey just on air, just alone, just like oh, yeah, yeah, I was right. kinda contemplating what what's happening in my life, but uh it's, it's all good, bro. But, but it won't be, uh, you know what? Don't be surprised if during this conversation you'll be disconnected as well. <laughs> well I'm praying. It's, it's, it's a very, oh my goodness. It's a reliable <laughs> slash unreliable form of connection or communication with everybody, you know, with everybody, each person that you are mi missing this pandemic. Mm. But you know, it's amazing how you guys worked around, see, I'm not calling you boys anymore, how you guys worked around the pandemic. And um, how did you address this seemingly, even if you were doing, you know, your FB live sessions and you were chatting with, with your fans or with your friends at the beginning, how did you seemingly address this huge wall? It's not a hurdle anymore, guys. It's a pandemic, okay, that has, you know, it, it made the world seem to stop revolving. Uh, um, Joey. Joey. Yeah, well, uh, I'd say that everything uh, at this point is honestly about adapting to what we have to work with. And um, I think that as long as artists like us, we really care about music, that's all that matters. Um, we'll work with what we have, yeah. And, um, uh, Pao, do you want to add on to that? <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Um, wait, I, I, see, this is what I do. I just tell Joey to go first so I can think of my response. <laughs> while you're buying um, time. <laughs> while I buy time, I'm just like, okay, go first. I'm just, no, no, no. That's a nice I, dynamic I you guys um, have. <laughs> kind of like a tag team thing, yeah. Tag team, mm -hmm. just tag it. When someone's running out of weight, just go, Joey, go, go. <laughs> um, but, okay, for me, um, yeah, it was tough. And, like, I feel like I'm getting more and more used to it it's sad that like this normal it's becoming more and more normal unfortunately but in a good way everyone's getting adjusted and especially for artists we're finding our ways to work around the pandemic like you said just find ways like maybe like all these online gigs but of course like nothing beats performing live and i miss it so much just like performing in your room alone to no one and just talking to air it's just there's only so much you can take of that and it, it's really tough. It's very tough. But I have so much respect now for all like the vloggers and everyone else who yes. does like just those types of videos. So so much respect. But yeah, it's just it's just a like Joey said. It's about adapting and just figuring things out and doing what you love, which is music. So. Okay, since it's your first time here for uh, first time guesting here on FM One Spotlight and during a pandemic at that uh this is one thing that yeah. i you know would normally ask some of the artists i know you guys have been doing music since you know in your younger days and your earlier days but i want to know what upgrade have you added to your equipment to make you guys sound mm. better or that you felt oh. that you had to do because you know you want to step it up a bit right uh, joey is there more did you did you have I, to update okay. did, did you add did you add some more? Yeah. So uh, I guess the way that I've upgraded myself uh, musically is um, I've, I've been trying to practice music theory. So as a producer, you don't necessarily have to understand notes and uh, chords and all that. But it definitely ties everything together. And it uh, allows for more fluid ideas to come, more fluid melodies to come. So that's something I've been working on. Um, additionally, like. Of course, uh, exploring different genres, 
gaining inspiration from different kinds of sounds and trying to implement them into your own music. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think that's that's those are some things. Also, I trying to um, sing a little bit now. Also, something I'm not necessarily <laughs> comfortable sure. with, but I think that I could make it work with uh, you know the right touches. So, so you're yeah. talking more about software than hardware, at least here. Oh. Hardware, hardware, hardware wise, um, yeah. it's very fun to uh, upgrade our home studios now. It's something me and Pa were talking about. That's like yeah. one of the one of the <laughs> very few silver linings of the pandemic is investing in a home studio. So um, I just bought a new audio interface. No, you um, did not. <laughs> what did you buy? <laughs> yeah, I bought a um, Audient ID4. It's a upgrade from my task at US thirty six. I don't so want to nice. get too technical. But uh, yeah, it's it's really gonna improve uh, what I can produce by myself uh, during these times. It's something you can bring bring out live as well for live performances online. Yeah, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. You can manipulate it is, everybody and everything with that. <laughs> it's amazing. It's yeah. so nice. How about you, Paolo? What's like the first upgrade that you did with your equipment at home, with your hardware at home for you know, uh, for your craft? Well, um, I I pretty much just kind of just basically been rearranging my room because my room was super <laughs> super cramped before the pandemic and it was just driving me insane. There's so much clutter, so much mess. So I've just been rearranging my room. You know, put a few plants, become a plant people <laughs> and stuff like that. What? So it just helps with the, <laughs> helps me find inspiration and feel more a little more cozy now that I'm just cooped up in my room writing music. So it's nice. Um, besides that. <laughs> This is so funny. So, in the past few interviews we've had, <laughs> like everyone, we had, we had like a live performance, and everyone was making fun of my microphone because it's like huge. Because I put this, yeah. um, this, uh, it's like an accessory, I guess. It goes on that top of like isolation. a condenser mic. Like, yeah, it's like oh, for the, iso isolating your vocals. The, the, uh, it's like the an big Alcatron, round one, like an eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's like the eye. It's just, so it's everyone is, yeah. <laughs> everyone is just making fun of my mic i was like no get in front of my mic but it's nice I, I was able to find a good deal on shopee i mean everyone's just online shopping uh -huh. now so shopee and lazada are like you know my best friends what now. they don't realize um, though with but yeah okay. so what they Sorry, don't realize ahead, though with that with that big circles thing is that you can go outside and do your performance outside and <sighs> you know everything they, they won't hear anything else but you right Okay, they make fun yeah, of them, um, but it's but really good. I wish I wish it was that good. I wish it was that good, but sometimes I find myself still having to like turn off the fan or to, like really try and isolate my room for it. Um, but yeah, I feel like it, it's helped a lot with my vocals. Besides that, um, I think Joey can also, uh, uh, with this, I think he knows what I'm talking about. Because in high school, I was always just like, I just go up on stage, I had my guitar and I just play songs. But I only knew like, nor like really basic chords, and I was never really. I was more of a singer before I was a guitar player, uh, guitarist, guitarist. Mm. Guitarist, I think is the correct word. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, that's right. I keep guitarist, saying guitarist. Yes. Anyway, so it's, I, I it's feel potato, like potato, potato. So <laughs> yeah, I don't even know. But anyway, um, so I find myself now like really wanting to in, improve as a as a guitarist and just you know become. Like hopefully lead up to a point where I can do my own solos and really fully express myself for the guitar because it's something I found that I just brings me so much joy. So I'm trying to look for like tutorials online and just like practices that I can do to really hone my skills. And I feel like yeah, that's like the thing I'm most proud of that has somewhat improved over the pandemic for sure. Okay, so uh, yeah. we now know how ready and geared up. Paolo and Joey are for their live <laughs> sessions for, for the yeah. next uh, 45 minute concert full on right online yeah, absolutely. They, can take, they can take on that guys so uh, book them uh -huh. now okay so uh, Paolo <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> Paolo your song <laughs> yes we will we will promote you of course absolutely okay uh, Paolo you, you, your songwriting Paolo is, is very interesting for a uh, comparably young artist how many heartbreaks have you been in less than a quarter of a century of you know the life that you've <laughs> that you've lived, or is it like living vicariously through others, you know, people you've met, people you know, maybe Joey? <laughs> oh my god! Throwing it out what a there. question! It's yeah. like a, I mean, it's like a, it's like how, what everyone says about Taylor Swift, right? Like she gets all of her songs are about like breakups, exactly. and it's always about a different guy. But yeah. I feel like for me, like. 
I would like to say I haven't been through that many, you know. But I feel like the few that I've been in have given me a lot of experience and have like kind of made me grow in different ways and just really gave me a lot of experience just to reflect on. And I feel like Same it's thoughts. just in my, in, yeah, in the back of my mind now that like <laughs> if ever I need to write a song about maybe like, yeah, like heartbreak and with this situation, I'll be like, oh, I can kind of relate to that. And it helps me to write better songs that way because I can put myself in the shoes of the person I'm trying to write about. So in a way, to all my exes, thanks for the XP. <laughs> 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 yeah, okay, I'm going to let, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to let it slide. You did not exactly answer my question because I was just asking for a number. <laughs> but, okay, you expounded. So, yeah, okay. I'm going to let you slide this time. But, uh, okay, let's talk about Feel Alive. Is it okay. uh, Joey the Beat, ex- Joey the Boy Beat exclusive and Paolo Sandez Words exclusive or did you guys do a mix and match? Did, did, uh, uh, did Joey also put in some words and uh, did you, Paolo, put in, put in some beats as well? Uh, okay. Well, I wrote, I, I wrote all Joey the raps, first. of course, and Joey wrote the, <laughs> oh. the chorus. And, yeah, yeah, actually, he, he was the one that sent me the demo raps for reference. I was just copying. Yeah, I was just like, I had to teach him how to rap. I was like, Joey, <laughs> yeah. no way! Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, 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 you no, got no. school, Joey! No. Uh, okay, so um, no. basically, yeah. the, the breakdown is um, the beat, uh, I made most of it, but I really needed Pau's uh, touches on it, the guitar that he added on to it. Um, he gave me some ideas for uh, kind of transitioning some parts of the songs. And uh, we really worked on the entirety of the song together. So I wrote my own raps. Paul wrote the chorus. Um, I wrote the pre-chorus. And then we just kind of just tied everything together and uh, yeah, gave each other advice on how we could improve the song as a whole. That must have yeah, been so exciting that, like, for you guys to do. Yeah. Absolutely. And I, I feel like one of the nice things with, about working with Joe is like we're we're kind of in our own our own worlds. But like yeah. whenever we have a collaboration, we find this like middle ground between our two styles. And then we kind of I, I have so much trust in Joey. I'm just like, Joe, write whatever you want. Like, I'm sure he's going to come yeah, up with something. I feel the same, then, though. Yeah, same with me. So we just work on our own parts and at the end put it together and we're like, it works. And then, mm-hmm. you know, we have this like song that's like showcases. Like, I, I feel like it it shows what we're both capable of and what we can do together as well. So it's really, yeah. it's, it's really nice to explore the different genres, like Joey said, Nina. Yeah. It's much. nice to, you know, it's nice to hear you and watch you guys show how much you trust each other in terms of, of talent and music and creating so that you guys can, you know, make one beautiful whole. It's, it's so yeah. nice that uh, watching you guys you. do this. Thank you. Yeah. So um, you guys are so busy. Wait, before I move to the next question so that people understand how busy uh, Joey and Paolo are, uh, they are still in school. Okay. Yes. Actually, in I college. think <laughs> in college, let's make that clear. Okay. Yes. They are, they are juniors yes. in college and, uh, it, it's so nice that even if they are so busy with their online school, like what we mentioned a while ago, uh, Paolo just got off his uh, online class and Joey is just winding, winding down his day from, from school. It's so nice that they found time to, one, well, to meet with us and, you know, they find time to make music as well. So let's find out how busy they are. Joey, what are you taking up? Interdisciplinary studies, um, if you're not familiar, it's basically a course where you ha- you could choose two tracks. Uh, the tracks that I chose are management and communications. Oh, this, yeah, perfect. It's this, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can actually make a career out of that after this, <laughs> after you graduate. How about you, Paolo? Let's um, see if you can make out of the career, uh, you know, a career uh, out of the course that you took. <laughs> for, for, me, for me, I'm taking up computer science. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's partly because of my dad initially, but I feel like I've, been, I've learned to really enjoy it and find, find ways to um, kind of bridge the gap between my two interests, one which is like tech and one which is like music and sports as well. So it's nice. It, it's it's a pretty it's pretty flexible. You'd be surprised. So that's the fun part about it. So. <laughs> no, it doesn't yeah. seem like it. <laughs> it it doesn't sound like it. But now it that you know, hear you talk about it, I completely believe you. But, okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? You guys are so busy with with school and 
surprisingly, no, during the pandemic, everybody's so busy, even you guys. Do you um, a lot a particular time in a day to work solely on music, or you work only when inspiration strikes? Oof. Yeah, oh, Joey? Joey, go ahead. <laughs> Joey? Oh, okay. Joey? Okay, we will but, always start yeah, with yeah. Joey now, okay? Uh, yeah, for the next question. Bro. Bro. <laughs> there are so, only um, two questions left, so we, we will start with Joey all the time. Okay. I, I feel like the, the best time uh, <laughs> personally to work is at night time because, you know, that's when I'm really all alone with my thoughts. No one's up. It's just me and uh, my notebook. So uh, people say that music's very therapeutic. All artists know this. And um, yeah, that's what that's what keeps me up late at night. That's what keeps me from falling asleep easily. It's just really writing and uh, kind of formulating all these different verses in my head or punchlines and trying to put them all together. But um, throughout the day, uh, there are a lot of people that say that like watching uh, TV shows or movies is kind of like uh, bad for your mental health or whatever. But I think that it's really of course uh, not. Yeah, it's, it's really inspiring <laughs> yeah. more for me. It's like, uh, I don't think it's a waste of time. I think that's kind of what uh, pushes my creativity uh, at this point in time because there's nothing that really inspires us as, except for like uh, what's going on in the country itself or um, other other things. So, yeah, more or less. Yeah. Okay, so for you, it's night time. Yeah, yeah night time. How about tough. you, Pala? It's tough. Like, this is, like, I think this is, like, one of the best questions that are most, like, frequent questions musicians get asked. And it's very subjective. Like, everyone has their own um, way of working and way of writing music. For mm. me, it's, like, I wish I had, like, a one time where I could just be, like, okay, 4 p.m. every Saturday, songwriting time. <laughs> you know? But I can't. I can't. I wish I could. And, like, but... You, I, I think Joey can relate to this. Like, you could be in the middle of class and something hits you and you're like, shoot, yeah. I have to write this down. Like, sometimes... <laughs> Never mind. I don't no, it's it. okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't do that. Uh, <laughs> if any profs are watching, I'm, I'm paying attention in class, okay? But sometimes, right. like, I have my guitar beside me. So sometimes, like, I'm in class, I'll be like, oh, okay. So while I'm listening to the class, I'll maybe, like, just play some chords and then maybe write something on the side. So it's like, when, when it comes, like, you... You can't just say, oh, it's not my songwriting time. You have to take it in and just be mm -hmm. like, okay, what can I do with this? Maybe I'll use this for something else. Or, you know, maybe it will just get lost and never yeah, be exactly. used. But it's just a process of just like being open, keeping your ears open and keeping your mind open to all these like fresh ideas that can just pop mm -hmm. in your head at any moment. So, But yeah, to each his own. I mean, there's no one way to do it. So that's the hard part. So that ever works for you. So, so for Paolo, he's 24-7. Um, He's working, you know. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. it's a full-time job, but you know, it, it makes us, it makes you happy. So, what can you do? We can't really hate it. You know? Okay, so uh, you know what? Our, our world, everybody, you know, our our lives and our world, it has turned upside down or right side out or whatever it is that you call it. I want to know how your day is like. You just just walk me through your day. I mean, from the moment you wake up until you go to sleep at night. Or not go to sleep <laughs> because okay. of because of what Joey said a while ago. <laughs> okay, I'll okay, Joey, you go first. I'll go first. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll bow go it. first. Bow you know, it. I, I, I've been take, Joey's been taking the hits. Um, okay, okay, me, go. For me, um, I usually start off my day with um, well, like Joey, I'm trying to work out more, and like I also have football training in the morning with my my teammates. So we have online training, which is. It's okay. It's, I it's, was about to say, I, how can you have morning training with your teammates? <laughs> okay, anyway, go. It's <laughs> online, so it's all in Zoom. And um, yeah, so it, it's fun just to see my teammates in the morning. Then after that, uh, luckily, this sem, all my classes are in the afternoon. So I kind of have the morning to just like work on um, other things, work on a bit of music, finish up my homework mm -hmm. that I haven't finished yet. And, mm -hmm. you know, um, it, it's nice because it, it, in the morning I have time to reflect, have some coffee, relax, and get started with my day. Slow start. I'm more of a diesel, so it takes me a while to get started. Oh, that's nice. I'm um, a diesel too, yeah. so yeah. So then, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Diesel yeah. fam, you know how it is. It's just, it's tough to get started right away. But right? For me, yeah. Um, after that, I have classes until about, yeah, around now, 6 o'clock. And then wow. uh, have some dinner. 
and then maybe watch some anime or something else <laughs> to help me go to bed <laughs> or work, work on music too. But I've just been so obsessed with anime, reading, reading manga and just watching so much. <laughs> oh, I thought watching a- anime, I was going to ask you which one are you on right now on Netflix? Oh. Oh, uh, I just finished Darling in the Franks. It's an older anime, but I, I wanted to watch it. And yeah. I just finished that. It's pretty short, but I finished it over the weekend. I kind of feel bad about that, but I finished it over <laughs> the whole weekend. Um, it's not wasted time, Paula. It's yeah, Absolutely not. It's not. Absolutely no. not. Especially mm-hmm. now. Like, it's so funny. Even one of my profs, like, after after class every day, is like, okay, relax now. Netflix now. I'm like, I'm sitting there, bro. Okay. Yeah, I'll listen <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much my whole day in a nutshell. It's just like, yeah, wake up, <laughs> work out, sleep again in the, <laughs> at night. You know, it's it's repetitive, but it's it's life. It's life. So, yeah, honestly. it's life. It's how we survive. Okay. The, 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 yeah, the motions of the day. But yeah, until six o'clock, your class is until six. Yeah. yeah wow. Um, it, it's, wow, it's that's tough. tough. But I started like two thirty, so it's not like it's not too Even long. If- seems late um but yeah but luckily sometimes because uh, most of those classes are like a lab lab class for me so mm. the class that takes the longest for me is a software development class but usually if we're done with our what we have to do for the day you can leave early if you need to so so uh, and with my group mates we're kind of just like okay na tayo bukas na okay so good night na <laughs> netflix na it's like, okay it's na my interview nice. pa ako eh yeah. But yeah, so it, it's nice. It's it's we have a good dynamic in our group also. But yeah, anyway, uh, in short, that, that's that's good. Much that's good. You want to do a yeah. shout out for your group mates on the off chance that they're uh, you know watching. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Jovery, shout out Vitas, and shout out Rafa. Let's go or go team. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> shout out guys. <Jess. laughs> okay, I'm um, they're, they're gonna let you off one week. One week's worth of work, so because of the shout <laughs> out. It, I'm kidding. I hope they won't. <laughs> okay, how about Stop you, Joey? Not. How's your day like? Um. Well, I like to wake up and start my day with a, a ten-minute mindfulness meditation. I think that's kind of like what sets uh, the tone of what I'm gonna carry out throughout the day, so that I don't necessarily uh, just waste away. So mm-hmm. um, I do that, and then I like to have uh, a nice cup of tea. You know, some yerba mate there. Uh, Very ooh. British. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, after that, like, I like to do my schoolwork or um, if I have classes, I'll attend those. But I like to do my schoolwork, um, you know, in a- around 12 noon in the afternoon. Um, after that, I work out at usually 3 o'clock. Um, of course, like, the schedule thing is just um, per reference. It's not necessarily what I do every day, but... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like sometimes in the afternoon, I feel like making a beat or writing or uh, mm. just watching anime like Pao. So hey. um, <laughs> everything comes and goes, but more or less that's what it is. And at nighttime, yeah, after dinner, it's um, crunch time. It's time to work. So, yeah. Are you watching the same anime as Paolo? I have no clue what the anime Pao said was. Dude, and- watch it, watch it, watch it. <laughs> but what are you time. watching right now? Watch it. <laughs> Uh, right are now, you watching the new ones? Okay, I, I'm watching JoJo's Bizarre Adventure right now. Also, My Hero Academia. I finished Attack on Titan already. I'm waiting for. Uh, I finished uh, Hunter Hunter. Too many, too many animes to count. Hunter Hunter. You can say that I'm a weeb at this point, but yeah, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> same, same, same. <laughs> okay, just uh, again, just for reference, or maybe you know, people uh, want to pick it up. What is your app for your 10 minute meditation? Oh, Which I just go it? on YouTube and um, just search 10-minute mindfulness meditation. Uh, there are different okay. options. And, uh, yeah. And it's always a great way to start the day, honestly. I'm gonna I have that. to agree. <laughs> totally. Now, um, since we're talking about mindfulness and, you know, spirituality and things like that, it, my next question is totally unrelated. Uh, <laughs> if you were to meet your seven-year-old self i say seven-year-old why did i pick out seven it was the first number that came to mind when i was doing my questions for you guys or maybe that was that is the age when when boys can you know start talking and thinking more 
clearly and reasoning out more clearly, yeah. I suppose. I'm not sure. But yeah, what would you tell your seven year old self if you met them right now, like right at this very moment? We're in the middle of a pandemic. You guys are junior high, doing music, having so much fun in life, despite, in spite of. Paolo,、hmm. you make Bowie twice. Okay. Okay,、yes. fine. All right. <laughs> That's such a, it's a good question. It's an, actually a nice mindfulness exercise as well. But.、Um, <laughs> That's a tough question. There's so many things, you know, I would say definitely in regards to like, you know, more of like the things that I struggle with in life. You know, you can give the deep answer. But <laughs> maybe for me, just like, I feel like I tell myself to stop worrying so much. And that seven year old me probably wouldn't get it. But I feel like, you know, <laughs> me now would have appreciated that, you know.、Um, But besides that, practice your guitar scales. It's gonna come, <laughs> it's gonna come in handy one day. Oh my God, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's mine, that's mine. So you have a deep one and a more shallow <laughs> one. <laughs> If we all、um, started practicing something, you know, at seven years old, yeah, and all, that's why、right? like, sometimes when you pick up something, it's so discouraging when you see the child prodigies for like, oh, this guy's been playing football since he just got, since he got out of, <laughs> since he got out of the womb. You know, he's been playing ever since. I'm just like, damn it, I just started last year. So it's like, but I mean, you can't. You can't take back time, so might as well just make the most of what you got now. You know? Yeah, move forward. Keep、Absolutely. moving forward.、Yeah. Okay, how about you, Joey? How, are, how, is this gun, how is this conversation with your seven year old be like? Well, yeah, taking up from that last point that Paul just made,、um, I would definitely tell myself to、uh, focus more on,、uh, on the music because at that point, I didn't really know what I wanted or who I would be in life.、Mm-hmm. But、um, when I discovered, I've always loved music, I've always loved poetry. But when I discovered that I can actually rap and make beats,、um, it, I felt like I was kind of、uh, old already at that point. I was like 15, that's not old. Now I feel very old. But,、uh, <laughs> wow,、um, okay. Busino na man jan, guys. Wait lang. <laughs> when you say the word old, busino na man. All right, go on, go on, Joey. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> Um, advice to myself、uh, start earlier. I was practicing piano before, but、uh, I feel like I was more into it than my teacher was. So that was kind of <laughs> discouraging for me. But I feel like if I、uh, practiced back then, that I wouldn't have to struggle with music theory now. And I could have been making better beats、uh, years ago. So that's definitely something. But at the same time,、um, I'm always debating with myself in my head, like, Uh, would I rather use the majority of my time to have fun or to like really push myself in craft? And、um, that's some, that was like a topic of my quarantine. And、uh, I came to realize that I think I've had enough fun in my life for now. And、uh, it's really time to work with,、uh, yeah, it's really time to push my career. So, yeah. Amen, brother. Or you, Amen. Can tell you, you can tell your seven year old self, find another piano teacher. <laughs> <laughs> find a better piano teacher who will teach you all the theory so you can start early.、Uh-huh. Right? Dude, where is this guy now, man? You... Where is this guy now? We got to give him a girl, shout out. I, no,、oh. <laughs> I, I forget her name. <laughs> oh, so <laughs> now we, we know it's a woman. At least yes, we know it's、yes. a woman. Okay, so,、uh, well, going back to、uh, Feel Alive. How did you guys make the music video for Feel Alive? Walk me through.、Uh, yeah, so we, we kind of just、uh, had the idea of what we wanted、uh, the vibe of the music video to be like. So we, we talked to, of course, our team and the director, and they kind of just set up everything. And、uh, mm-hmm. when we got there,、um, all we had to do was perform, smile for the cameras, and、uh, Dance our asses off, and I think we did okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we did okay. We're, we're, you know, we're being,、right. we're being humble, you know, we're being humble. You know, we, we, put, it was we awesome, put you guys. <laughs> thank Come you, thank on. you. Yeah, yeah it、um, was him. <laughs> you can tell、okay, Joey and me we're, we're doing our best in terms of the dancing, <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, hopefully, us having fun and having a good time compensated for our lack of rhythm with our feet. But you know, it was just such a fun day, and especially like. Yeah, in quarantine now, you, can't, you don't really have a lot of opportunities to go out and、uh, hang out with your friends and just like, you know, do what you love, which is like music. So、mm-hmm. it, was, it was a nice change of pace、um, yeah, after a long, ter- a long time of isolation. So, yeah,、mm-hmm. definitely a good, good, 
good good fun and some uh, a, a really smashing vid. So go check it out. <laughs> for guys. sure, for sure. And you can also smashing. tell that young boy go take up some dance lessons. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, right? you know. I <laughs> mean, I don't think we <laughs> just a little bit, at least yeah. just, just a little bit of training. Dance. We're almost there. Uh, we're almost there. Already. We're almost there. I feel like you know, just a, a few more TikTok dances, I'll get it. Don't worry. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's oh, how no. you, you TikTok is how you learn. To, okay, fine, fine. I mean, you know what? Whatever gauge, works you know, in this, whatever get, works for you guys. <laughs> Gym, in this yeah. pandemic okay so uh paulo you have quite a you know popular first name and a popular last name definitely and an even more popular middle name at what age or you know what instance while you were growing up did you realize that wow i'm a legacy of sorts i can do anything <laughs> i want <laughs> with the names That's, that i have <laughs> um yeah i mean like i can't stress enough like you know as with all kids, we don't choose where we go, and it's just like I'm, I'm both blessed and also kind of um, haunted by it. Cause like everywhere I go, um, there's like a sh- there's always like a shadow and like big shoes to fill, you know. Um, yeah, even in terms of like my my course and my degree, my dad was UP summa cum laude and he has a PhD wow. from Stanford. So he's like <laughs> he's the brains, and like uh, my mom, the man, you know, you, I, like people know my of mom. Course. She's uh yeah she's like more of a sweetheart and she's like my showbiz so that that's like another side of me the man so I feel like yeah it's no she's a super find... athlete man yes and of course an Olympian so it's I'm just like bad. there's nowhere to go it, it it's it's tough to feel to f- like find your way through the expectations and um try and make my own name for myself which has been I think probably the biggest. Uh, the thing that was most difficult for me when I was starting my career. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I mean, at the end of the day, it, it all boils down to me doing what I love, releasing music and studying <laughs> as hard as I can. I may not be a summa cum laude, but, you know, I'm doing my best and I enjoy what I do. And I feel like that's all you can really ask for, you know, at the end of the day. But, yes, I'm very lucky. And um, hopefully, I, may, I hope that my parents are proud and I'm doing the most um, with my opportunities. So, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sure you, they're so proud of you. I'm, I'm so sure of that. I mean, without a doubt, you know, they're, they're very, very proud of you, especially with, um, you know, what you're doing with, with Joey the Boy, that you guys are actually heard on the airwaves, all radio stations, local. And are we looking at international releases, Joey? Oh, you know, yeah. g- going global. Are, are we? Uh-huh. Um, are we? Um, I mean, and then you in know, the near future, the three of I, us. Might, <laughs> I might not be located here anymore. I might be pushing my music in the States. So uh, mm-hmm. hopefully, like, it'll come back all the way to the Philippines and, you know, people will be proud of their roots. So, yeah, definitely. Well, we're already proud of you now. So (laughs) we're just going to, yeah, all all that's left to do is support you all the way, wherever you go, wherever you choose to. I hope hope that's the case. So um, I hope that it will happen within the year, as far off as that may be, because, you know, when you graduate, I'm sure... It will be an online graduation anyway, so you can do it wherever you are. That's not going to work for that right now. Not going to that. Not that. Oh, not that. I'm being a realist, guys. Come on. I mean, seriously. No. I know you guys are still. Ho- you, I, every, every student, every, every student, I know they're hoping to go back to their campuses and their classrooms this year. But honestly, can you see yourselves in in a classroom in August or, or, or July or September even? Yeah, probably not. But like, hopefully not by not. sometime <laughs> next year. Yeah. Luckily, I'm year. I'm a little bit delayed, so I might stay maybe an extra sem or so. So hopefully by then, maybe we'll have like fifty percent capacity or something like that. And I wouldn't mind that. You know, just this little slimmer last. You know, last hurrah in Katipunan <laughs> before you know we say goodbye. Katipunan so, is so lonely sana. right now, but yeah, I'm, sure I'm is, so yeah. happy when I'm driving along Katipunan. It's so clean. No traffic. Like, no the traffic. long lines <laughs> going to the campuses. There's like three you will encounter there, and I'm like, wow, wow this is so clean. <laughs> How about you, Joey? Also in Katipunan? Um, no, I'm in BGC right now. I but, mean, your school. Uh, yeah, Ateneo. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Same. Same. Yeah. It's okay. So yeah, me and Joy right? were opposite, <laughs> yeah. side, opposite sides of yeah, the we, we see each other often. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys can always meet halfway. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, huh? luckily, um, I was dorming, so um, I would see a lot of the Ateneo people when I go to my dorm because it's like near the the bridge, you know, uh, mm. Regis Center. So that's yes. that's where everyone usually hangs out, and that's where. I usually go to, you know, get some milk tea before I study or like get some food. So I, I usually bump into a lot of people there. Just fun. So Regis Center happens. is so lonely now when you go there. I know. Oh, I know. I haven't been in a while, but I, I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's it's so lonely. And even the, the other establishments there, I mean, I won't say which ones, but yeah, it's, it's pretty lonely on that other side of, of the road. So yeah. I know you, you guys miss it. They miss you too. For I'm sure. sure, I'm sure. And there are a lot of places along Katapunan again that I missed very much and I'm sad that, you know, Same. may not be there when I get back. So that's the that's tough part. That's so true. I will save your okay, speak- memories. <sighs> Speaking of going outside, when you guys get the chance to perform, finally, you know, your, your yes. material, your music, your songs, your beats, when you finally get to perform them live in front of a, in front of a crowd, which place which club which campus um which bar Ooh. or which stadium would you want to play in the fir- mm. first one that comes to mind well, well OTC. definitely <laughs> <laughs> what otc, OTC. ocean <laughs> telephone club it's a it's an old club that we used to go to before yeah, no, no, but it's, it's closed now unfortunately yeah, sadly. unfortunately way before the pandemic but it was a, a hot spot for us before you know we'd hit it up um hmm. you could have packed that place yeah <laughs> it's a small place but it's a, a lot of fun for me i feel like definitely a lot of um people uh, a lot of artists enjoy performing at wonderland or would love to perform at wonderland <laughs> So that would that's be nice something. to have Wonderland. That's something I would, I would hopefully like. One of my goals, I guess. Yeah, I guess it can be a goal, yeah. To perform one day there. That would be really fun. Wonderland, then Coachella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh it, it, it goes up. <laughs> some kind of it music festival. I feel like any type of music festival, you know, where you can just like have a really big crowd and everyone just there, you know, support any artist who goes on stage, which is really fun. <laughs> So yeah. Yeah. One day. Okay. So uh, speaking of sport, fans, live music, performances, why don't you uh, invite <clears throat> your fans and our viewers and our listeners to check out Feel Alive and of course your future ventures. Yeah. So you could check me out, uh, Joey the Boy on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, basically all uh, all social media. Um, I'd like to think that uh, I'm entertaining sometimes um you could uh check out my music on spotify of course and give our song feel alive listen me and pal really had a great time creating that track and i think you guys will have a greater time listening to it so um yeah all ears keep tabs on my future projects i have a uh, very big works uh in the future kind of redundant right there but um <laughs> yeah uh just keep your tabs thank you very much looking yeah, forward and- to the international releases joey Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah and for me, um, uh, go check me out on Instagram at Paolo Sandejas, Twitter at Paolo underscore Sandejas, and Facebook, uh, Paolo Sandejas Official. So just search Paolo Sandejas. I'm sure I'll come up. <laughs> Give me a follow, you know. Um, I try to post as much as I can. And yeah, make sure to go stream my music as well uh, on Spotify and all other digital platforms. Whatever you use, we're there. Me and Joey are there. So make sure to go support and hope you guys enjoy what we have to put out, especially Feel Alive. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, gentlemen. It's It's been a pleasure and an honor to... Uh, you know, have you on FM1 Spotlight. Joey the Boy and Paolo Sandes making us feel alive this weekend. Folks, for FM1 Spotlight, this is brought to you by radio stations under the Philippine Broadcasting Service, Republica FM1, FM1 Davao, Capital FM2, RP1, and RP2. Thank you, Team Manila. Team Manila is available online through dailygrindstore.com, Team Manila Shopee, and Lazada stores. Always tune in to Republica FM1, 875, number one station on the dial. FM1 Manila on the Radio Nation app, which you can download free of charge on your Android and or iOS. FM1 Manila streaming live online via pbs-fm.com. 
Like and follow us on our socials, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at FM1PH. Microphones on and camera set. We've heard their sound and now it's time for us to ask around. FM1 Spotlight. On Republicast, exclusively on FM1.